Chrome extensions are like power-ups for your web browser. They add new features and supersize your web experience. AI-powered extensions are a brand new category of web power-ups. Here are five great extensions that teachers can use to enhance their work in the classroom. Hi, my name is John Sowash. I help teachers and students use Google tools in the classroom. Our first Chrome extension is Merlin, and this is a great one. I used to use Merlin back when ChatGPT was so popular you couldn't actually even log in. All these Chrome extensions, including Merlin, can be installed from the Chrome Web Store. I'll include links in the description for this video to make it easier for you to find them. Once you install Merlin, you'll click on this little uh, icon up in the toolbar. It looks like a funky face, and that will open up the Merlin chat window. Now, there are so many things that you can do with Merlin. I haven't even explored all of them. You can chat with documents, generate images, uh, talk with websites, uh, and more. For example, if I have a long website and I'm not really interested in you know, reading the whole thing, I can ask Merlin to process the web page and then tell it to generate the key points from that web page, which is pretty cool. I can also upload documents to Merlin. Uh, if you have a long PDF or meeting notes, you can generate a summary or ask quiz questions or rewrite the article at a different reading level. Merlin also integrates with popular Google products like Gmail and YouTube. So once you install Merlin, you'll get a little icon in your Gmail toolbar, and this will allow you to ask Merlin to reply to an email or generate uh, a message for you. The last thing I'll demo is YouTube. This is pretty slick. You can go to a YouTube video and then ask Merlin to generate a transcript or create a summary of that video. Merlin is a really versatile tool. Um, it's really something I think teachers could leverage in the classroom to work more efficiently. Our second AI Chrome extension is Writing Mate. Now, this has some similarities to Merlin, but I would encourage you to have both of them available because there's one important thing you need to know about AI tools. They're expensive. Every AI tool that I will show you has a free version, but it is limited. Um, Merlin will allow you to use it 100 times per month. Uh, Writing Mate that we're looking at right now will allow you to use it 30 times per day. And that's just because AI is expensive. The computational cost of AI is very high and somebody has to pay for it. So you're probably going to have to install multiple tools and kind of bounce back and forth between them unless you're willing to uh, purchase a subscription for um, additional access. We're going to click on the crystal ball extension. And this gives us access, direct access to ChatGPT. So I can say, write a quiz on mitosis, and it'll do that right in here. One cool thing that WritingMate offers, once you have your response, you can export that response to Gmail, Docs, or Slides with a single click, which is cool. Now, there are some other features like chat with a website and generate images, but you'll notice that both of those require a subscription. So WritingMate is a decent option. It doesn't have the direct integrations with things like Gmail and YouTube that Merlin has, but you'll probably have to use both depending on how much you use AI on a regular basis. The next Chrome extension I'd like to introduce you to is very different from the others that we've talked about. This is Copy Leaks, a Chrome extension that will help teachers quickly determine if something has been written by humans or artificial intelligence. Now, I realize that AI detection is a very hotly debated topic. I am not enough of an expert to have a, a definitive opinion on it. I've personally tested copy leaks. I've been impressed with the accuracy of my results. I encourage you to try it out and form your own opinion. We're going to go to a website. This is my blog. I'm simply going to highlight some text. The more text you highlight, the more accurate the results you're going to get. Click the copy leaks extension and it's going to evaluate what I've highlighted. And in this case, it is human generated. It's true. I wrote it. Let's go to a Google document. This is a sample student essay that I wrote using Google Bard. So this is AI generated. Now, unfortunately, I can't just highlight the text. I have to actually copy it when I'm coming out of uh, Google Docs or Slides. So I'm going to copy that, go to the copy leaks extension, paste it in, and write. Uh, did a human write this and is AI content detected? So you try it out, you decide uh, what you think, but it's a simple tool that you can use to just quickly determine if something is um, generated by a human. 
I would love to know how you are using AI in your classroom. Now, maybe you're just getting started and you're not using it, which is why you're watching this video, or you're using it on a regular basis and you're looking for more efficient ways to uh, take advantage of ChatGPT and Google Bard. Leave me a comment. Let me know how is it working in your classroom. The next two tools that I want to share with you are awesome. So I hope you'll stick around and learn about them. First, we have magicschool.ai. This is an amazing tool specifically designed for teachers. You have to try this one out. We're going to install the Chrome extension and it works pretty much anywhere, just like the other tools we've looked at. Let's go to a Google document and let's pretend that I need to write my class newsletter for the week. You'll notice a new magic school button kind of floats and hovers in the bottom bottom right corner of your screen. We can click right there. Now you can just kind of ask it anything you want, but I think the tools are very useful. So there's actually a tool specifically for class newsletters. There's more than 50 different tools that you can explore. We're going to click on class newsletter and let's go ahead and add some uh, content here. We're getting ready for a class valent uh, Valentine's party in February. Uh, Stephen's birthday is later this week. And I want to make sure that this newsletter is written very um, succinctly with bullet points so parents can quickly skim. I'm entering that information into the prompts. I'm going to click the generate button and it's going to fill out that information. Obviously, I'll have to make some adjustments and personalize it, but I can simply copy that and then paste that right into Google Documents, make my changes, and it's ready to go. Magic School is amazing. You absolutely have to check it out. There are, like I said, more than 50 different little applications, so you don't have to just generate from a blank prompt. You can just fill out the boxes with as much or as little information, and you're ready to go. Next up, we have Brisk Teaching, a wonderful Chrome extension for language art teachers, special education, um, and anyone who really works with articles and reading. I'm going to head over to a USA Today article. A 13-year-old recently became the first person to ever beat the game of Tetris. I want my students to read this article, but this particular one is uh, too advanced for them. In the bottom right corner of this website, you'll see the Brisk logo, similar to Magic School. I'm going to click on it, say Change Level, select the reading level that's appropriate. Um, this can also translate. So if you have language learners, you can translate this into their native language. And I'll click. It's going to open up a Google Doc and rewrite this article with the images at the reading level that I've selected, which is absolutely amazing. Now, once the article is generated, I can use Brisk to do additional things like generate reading comprehensive questions, generate a quiz, lots of great things. So here's a whole menu of options. Having both Magic School and Brisk is wonderful, similar to having uh, Merlin and uh, Magic Write. Having both tools, you can go back and forth between them and see how they work and behave. Now that you've learned about these great five Chrome AI extensions, I think you should check out this video up here, which has five of my favorite Chrome extensions for teachers. And if you want to learn more about AI tools, check out this playlist down below, which has videos on some of my favorite tools like Notebook LM and Conquer.